वेलकम टू दिस स्पोकन ट्यूटोरियल ऑन ई कार्ड एनिमेशन यूजिंग सिंफिक इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न टू क्रिएट एन ई कार्ड एनिमेशन यूजिंग सम पी एन जी इमेजेस हियर वी विल लर्न टू इम्पोर्ट पी एन जी फॉर्मेट इमेजेस एनिमेट द इमेजेस डू एक्सट एनिमेशन प्रिव्यू द एनिमेशन रेंडर द एनिमेशन इन ए वी आई फॉर्मेट फॉर दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम यूजिंग ओबन टू लिनक्स 14.04 OS, Synfig version 1.0.2. Let us open Synfig. Go to Dash Home and type Synfig. You can open Synfig by clicking on the logo. Now let us start creating the e-card animation. We need to first save our Synfig file. Go to File and click on Save. Select the folder in which to save. Type the file name as the eCard animation and click on the save button. First, we will go to the toolbox and click on the rectangle tool. Then, draw a rectangle on the canvas as demonstrated. We will change the settings such that the imported image fits inside the canvas. To do so, go to edit, click on preferences and then on misc. Click on the option Scaling New Imported Image to Fix Canvas. Now click on OK. This option will import the images such that they fit within the canvas. Please note, we need to import the images in PNG format. This is because other image format like JPG or JPEG behave differently on the Synfig canvas. Also, After rendering, the output quality is better when PNG images are used. Let us come back to the Synfig interface. Go to File and click on Import. I have saved the required images in the eCard animation folder inside my Documents folder. These images are provided in the Code Files link on this web page itself. Please locate the link Code Files. and save the images on your machine now practice along with me select the bg image and click on import we get the bg image on the canvas to resize the image first hold the orange dot or the orange duck and move the mouse in or out as shown to make the bg image fit the canvas now select the cake image in the folder and click on import we get the cake image on our canvas in the same way import all the other images too observe we have three new layers name cake flowers and balloons let us now resize these images go to the layers panel first select the cake layer observe that on selection and the resize handles appear on the canvas Click on the orange dot and resize the cake image. Repeat the same process and resize the other two images also. Now, move the images and keep them outside the canvas as demonstrated. Then, go to the animation panel. Click on Turn on Animate Editing Mode icon. Place the time cursor on 30th frame. Select the cake layer. Move the cake image to the left bottom of the canvas, as shown. Next, select the balloons layer. Place the time cursor on 30th frame. Go to the keyframes panel and click on Add a keyframe. Now, place the time cursor on the 40th frame. Go to the keyframes panel and click on Add a keyframe. Move the balloons image to the mid left of the canvas. Again, place the time cursor on the 60th frame. Go to the keyframes panel and click on Add a keyframe. Move the flowers image to the right bottom of the canvas. Next, we will add a line of text to go with this animation. Before that, let me switch off the animation. To do so, click on 
turn off animate editing mode icon. Let us add the text. Since the default fill color is white, the text will not be visible on the white background. So, I will change this color to black. Now, go to the toolbox and click on the text tool. Then, click anywhere on the canvas. We get input text dialog box. Here, we will type the text, Happy Birthday. Click on OK. Observe that we can now see the text on the canvas. Now, go to the Layers panel and select the text layer. Next, go to the Parameters panel and click on Size. Change its value to 80 pixels, then change the color value to violet. Go to the toolbox and click on the text tool. Once again, click on the canvas. We get another input text dialog box. In this text box, type, have a wonderful, happy, healthy birthday, now and forever. And then click on OK. We can now see this text also on the canvas. Go to the parameters panel and click on size. Change the value to 30 pixels and change the color to black. Now, let's go to the layers panel. Click on the first text layer and change the name of that layer to happy birthday. Similarly, click on the other text layer and change the layer name to now and forever. It is a good habit to name the layers appropriately. This will help us to locate them easily in the future. Now, move the text layer outside the canvas as demonstrated. Click on Turn on Animate Editing Mode icon. Then, go to the Layers panel. Select the Happy Birthday layer. Now, place the time cursor on 70 second frame. Go to Keyframes panel and click on Add a Keyframe. Move the text as demonstrated. Next, go to the Layers panel and select Now and Forever layer. Then, place the time cursor on 90th frame. Go to Keyframes panel and click on Add a Keyframe once again. Now, go to the canvas and move the text Now and Forever as demonstrated. Now, save our synfig file. Go to File and click on Save. Let us now check the preview. Go to File and then click on Preview. Set the quality as 0.5 and frame per second as 24. Click on the Preview button. Then click on the Play button. We can see a preview of the animation on the screen. Close the Preview window. Lastly, let us render the animation. To do that, click on File and then on Render. Go to the Render Setting window. Click on Choose. Open the Save Render as window. Click on Document. Click on eCard Animation folder. Change the name to eCardAnimation.avi. Click on Target drop-down menu. Select the extension as FFmpeg. Click on the Time tab and change the end time to 110. Then click on Render. Let us check our animation. Go to Documents. Double click on eCard Animation folder. Select eCardAnimation.avi. Right click and play the animation using Firefox web browser. With this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to create an eCard animation. We also learn to import images, animate the images, do text animation, preview the animation, 
and render the animation in AVI format. Here is an assignment for you. Locate the floor image which is provided in the code files link. Using the floor images, create a similar animation. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. This is Sheetal Joshi along with the Spoken Tutorial Animation team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.